Thunder E here and we're taking a walkthrough of Android N developer preview which is available right now uh, via OTA on the phone devices, the Nexus 6P, the 5X, the Nexus 6, Pixel C, Nexus 9 and Nexus Player. So we'll leave the link for you down below. Pretty easy to register your device and of course, um, you know, get the quick OTA download. Now the app tray is still the same, but the first thing you notice in terms of changes is actually with the notification tray. The notification tray has a, now a minimized look that expands uh, to show you more of your notification icons. Also, even the notifications themselves are slightly changed in terms of appearance. Now the icon tray also uh, is, is expandable to actually two, two screens. You can edit the icons within the tray. You can swap things in and swap things out and you also have the you know icon for your android uh, beta program again very simple to enter the link is down below all you have to do is just accept uh, it knows what devices you have once you sign in and you're good to go now when we go into the settings here um just x that out and head back to the settings but when we go to the settings, you're going to see the settings are actually slightly changed in a bit now uh the look is still very similar but what you notice is that once you get to some things like devices uh there's there's almost like a quick subtext of just information out there for you so you know how many apps are running you know where your battery life is even though it says 85 percent seven hours i don't know seven hours left i don't know how that's the case but you can already see off a glance the things you want to see within those sections which is actually pretty nice uh, now tap and pay also has multiple it says you can use default so we might see multiple uh, tap and pay uh, options there who knows something that might be possible again we're running Android N uh, as we double tap that we can see the Android N logo now the next most important thing of course which everyone's waiting for i've been dying for this is this finally true split screen multitasking so when you hit your multitask button and you have a couple of applications open what you want to do is hold down under the first uh, um, application you want to multitask you can move it around but you want to drag it to the top that splits the window in half and you can select another application to actually run so you can see my settings menu with you know of course android n is there now certain applications don't work yet but you can basically select a, a different application so i have settings on the very top and i'm going to go to youtube which of course again those are stock applications or the browser in this case and you can see i have the browser here and i have uh, my settings at the very top um, now if you want to basically switch between applications you have to hit the multitask button again you can of course close applications still in that um, sub menu or you can slide up to actually go back to just the original flow and look so again here i'm switching it out i have the browser up top i have youtube at the bottom uh it is it works it works well uh, i don't like the way it's set up I, I actually do like what samsung does where there's a little icon on the side of your uh, open tab and you can just tap it and multitask there so i want them to adapt something similar or at least you know some make it less cumbersome just because it's not as straightforward as i would like but that being said though i mean i, I i'm happy it's here um i've been complaining about this on uh, android stock android devices for a long time so i'm glad to see that we, we do have multitasking uh, this is going to be coming with Android and so if you guys have any questions or any comments guys let us know otherwise don't forget to like this video share this video and favorite this video do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment